Let's welcome Adam to the desk with Arts and Lifestyle. What do you have for I'm us? Just looking at your art there on the that is not your doodles. Art. Your script doodles. It's abstract. Uh, wouldn't make it into the Art Gallery Greater Victoria's latest exhi uh, exhibition though, no. and that's because uh, it's all about uh, the Asian arts there right now. Because if you don't know, uh, our art gallery is actually has one of the best Asian art collections in the country, uh, more than 8,000 items. Now though, 600 of the best Chinese artifacts are being unveiled for you, and that includes some tomb figurines. Uh, the, what the tomb figurines were supposed to be doing was serving as surrogates in the tomb because the Chinese believed when you died you had the same needs in the next life as you do in this one. So you might want to have uh, female attendants who could do dancing or musical performances. You'd want to have guards who could look after you. You'd want to have horses which you could use in the next life. You'd want to be able to show that you're wealthy and you could trade with foreigners. So there's quite often there's camels with foreigners depicted. So in other words, uh, in your next life you could still be uh, in enjoying the same benefits you had in this life. The Enduring Arts of China exhibit features paintings, ceramics, uh, decorative arts dating from 3000 BC to the early 20th century. But quite often before you passed on, you'd go into uh, a funeral shop and select the tomb figurines which would go into your tomb. And there's even one famous case where a general was, was seemed to be building a massive uh, uh, ceramic army for his next life. The emperor heard of this and accused him of planning a coup d'etat in the next life. So the general was arrested and died in prison. Enduring Arts of China exhibit opens tonight and it runs through April 29th. Well, the folks behind uh, the Victoria Film Festival are inviting you to a talk during its latest screening. Uh, it's wrapping up its quote along cinema series this weekend with a Monty Python classic. Load up! People just get right into it. It's, you know, you're, you're expected to, you're allowed to just talk along with the film, yell along, scream along, sing along. It really changes the dynamic of a, of a theater. And before the silly adventure begins, there will be a costume and silly walk contest, along with the chance to do some uh, Wii sword fighting. Now, whether you've memorized all the lines of the film or, or you're seeing it for the first time, the producers say that participatory cinema offers something for everyone. When you watch a film that you really love and you're surrounded by 200 people who love it as much as you do, it really creates this energy in the room that is, um, it's incredible. I mean, the films are funnier somehow. Yeah, the Quidlong Monty Python and the Holy Grail is this Saturday at the Vic Theatre. Full details are available at victoriafilmfestival.com.